welcome to Authenticity Unleashed. I'm Pam Rader, your host, and I've got something really interesting to challenge you on today. I know a lot of people who say that they're just nice. They're just nice people. They don't like to ruffle feathers. They don't like conflict. They don't feel comfortable saying no to things. And they call it this four letter word, nice. Now, I'm going to actually let this four-letter word live up to the reputation of a four-letter word. Because nice is not nice. Consider this. When you're nice to someone, for instance, you say yes to doing something you don't want to do. There's a cost to that. You often wind up feeling miserable and resenting that person. Or... You're nice to someone and you don't tell the full truth. You say, oh, that looks lovely. Or I loved that dinner. And that person doesn't get any genuine feedback. I'll tell you a story about nice. When I was a little girl, you know, like most of us, I was brought up, you know, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Be nice, dear. Oh, be nice to other kids. Be nice, be nice, be nice. It's the message that I heard. It's the message we all hear. We're probably all guilty of perpetuating that message everywhere. But in order to be nice, we often have to stuff down what's important to us. We uh, have to avoid telling truths that could actually cause some change. It's basically a way that we suppress ourselves a lot of the time. So I'm a little kid, I don't know, like seven or something. And our family went to my grandmother's house for dinner, my grandmother and grandfather. And my grandmother was a really great cook. She had roast beef and all of these things out and, and everyone loved grandma's cooking. But she, ba- she made baked beans. Now, I was not a big bean fan. I'm still not that big of a bean fan, if I'm really being honest. And when it came around, my grandmother was very proud. And she said, oh, what did you think of the beans? And I said, grandma, they were delicious. I loved them. And that's all fine and dandy. My mom smiles and looks really proud of me. And then the next week, my mom made the beans. And I was like, mom, I don't like these beans. And she said, you said you loved them. Grandma's planning on making them for you again. And I thought, oh my gosh, when I am nice at the expense of not telling the truth, I have to pay a price for that. I'm going to have to eat these stupid beans for the rest of my life because I didn't have the courage to say they're not my favorite. (laughs) Nice got me a whole plate of beans I didn't like for a really long time, folks. Just a silly example, but it's what happens. Now, in terms of if we give someone feedback, if they ask, how did I do? How did I do on this? job performance review? How did I do uh, singing in the karaoke? (laughs) Whatever it is. And if we know that that person was a two out of 10, trust that that person also sort of knows they were a two out of 10. And if you're nice and you say that was a nine out of 10, guess what happens? That person no longer trusts you. They don't trust you to tell the truth. Because we know the truth. When we're not doing great at something, we know. And if someone's blowing smoke up our asses, we know it. We might like it in the, in the moment, but ultimately we know. And now we're looking at that person with a little bit of skepticism. So we're not doing anyone any favors when we're nice instead of kind. Now we'll get to the distinction in a moment. But what I'd like to say about nice is this. You have it that it's about other people. I don't want to hurt someone else's feelings. I don't want them to think they don't matter or they're not a priority. I don't want people to be upset. All kinds of reasons why you say you're nice. And they're all bullshit. Because I'll tell you what, those are the surface reasons. But really, if you're really truthful with yourself, at the bottom of it is this. Yeah, you're afraid to ruffle their feathers in some way, but not 
because they'll be upset because they could be upset in another house and you'd never know and it wouldn't bother you one bit. It's that they might be upset with you and you might be rejected. So your niceness isn't about protecting the other person's feelings. Your niceness is about protecting you. Yeah, hear that. It's about protecting you. Real friends have the courage to tell each other the truth. If you love someone, be willing to tell the truth. Kindness is truthfulness. Now, before I move on to what kindness really is and the distinction, let's just give you a little, a little uh, acronym or um, formula so that you can kind of see what happens when you're just nice. For me to be nice, and we can just use the beans as an example. I was nice about the beans. So I repressed my true feelings. So there was repression. That's the first R. When we repress our true feelings, then someone does something that we don't expect or don't live up to our expectations or continue on doing whatever they're doing because we didn't tell them that it wasn't okay. Then we start to resent that person. I resented not my grandmother necessarily, but having to eat beans at dinner for a really long time. After we resent someone, we start looking for more reasons to resent them because we love to be right. And the reticular activating system will show you why you should resent them. And then the natural progression is the third R, which is rejection. Uh, No, grandma, I don't think I can come for dinner tonight because I'm busy. I'm rejecting her because I don't want to eat the beans because I can't say no. I don't like the beans. Ridiculous, right? In my defense, I was seven. Okay. After we get repression, resentment, and then rejection, we start to be resigned. It's just the way it is. Grandma's always going to make the beans. There's no point saying anything about it. And you know what? I could have done something about it. As an adult, I have learned this lesson to just tell the truth. If I don't repress it, then none of the rest of the R's happen. So I'll tell you the flip side of that story. I have this beautiful, amazing mother-in-law. Her name is Nella, and she's Italian. She has a very thick Italian accent. And the first time that I uh, cooked her dinner, I don't know why I thought, in my 20s to make an Italian woman pasta. Honest to goodness, there's something wrong with my brain. Anyways, I made her linguine and clams and I was so proud. Now, looking back, I know I overcooked the pasta and I didn't ask if she liked seafood. So I'm sitting at the dinner table, very proud of this. And my kids are saying, this is so great and we love it. And uh, my fiance at the time was saying, yeah, it's really great. And he loved it. And I was waiting for her, waiting for her to say if she liked it or not. And she didn't say anything. And so I looked at her and I said, Nella, what did you think about the pasta? And she looked at me straight in the eye and she said, well, Pamela, it's not my favorite. And honest to God, I'm so embarrassed that I'm sharing this with you on a podcast. But I said this. Oh, my mom said, if you don't have anything nice to say, you shouldn't say anything at all. Can you even imagine that I said that as an adult woman? Anyways, I said that. And she taught me the greatest lesson that I learned in a long time that night. She said, well, Pamela, if I tell you I like, you're going to make a game. And I remembered the bean scenario and thought, oh my goodness, of course. And I could appreciate it. Of course, I'm not going to make her linguine and clams again if she says it's not her favorite. If she told me she liked it, I would have made it again the next time she came over. Nice doesn't help. Kind leads you closer in relationships. So the very first principle in yoga is called ahimsa, and that means non-harming. But it's also been translated by many scholars as kindness, as just kindness. So treating people with kindness, and that involves the next principle of yoga, which is truthfulness. So sometimes 
being kind is giving a truth that has a little sting in the moment, but it's because you actually value that relationship. You value the trust in the relationship more than just being liked in the now. You value actually standing for someone's growth, standing for what their potential is by telling them a truth that might be uncomfortable. Or you value that someone trusts that your word means something. So you only give your yes when it's a real hell yes. And if it's not, you're kind enough to say, that doesn't work for me. You see, kindness will protect your relationships in the long run. Kindness is an investment but pays a good ROI. But nice, that's just throwing money down the drain. That's just protective. It's a momentary, impulsive thing that gets you out of a discomfort or a, an uncomfortable moment. But it's just self protection. So if you want to improve everywhere in all your relationships in your life, even your working relationships, all of that, Get well practiced in being kind and being a truth teller. Now, that doesn't mean you can go around and just be a jerk to everybody. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about coming from a genuine place of love and respect. So, for instance, someone asks me their opinion about a project they're doing, and I tell them, hey, I see this matters to you, so I'm going to give you my true feedback. And that is that it's a two out of 10 at this point. And I believe that you have so much more that you can grow. And I want you to stand for yourself. I want you to step into your greatness. That's kind. Now, if I was to say you're a 10 out of 10 and walk away, that's just me protecting myself and nothing new is going to happen for that individual. So come from the heart come from a place of love where you're really standing for someone's greatness, where you're standing for your relationship, where you're standing for being a person whose word means something. Ditch the nice. It's a four letter word. Kind is also a four letter word, but the good kind. So kind over nice all day long and watch your relationships, watch your life improve. And more than anything, here's the biggest prize of all. When you are kind instead of nice, you build self-worth because you know when to say no to something so that you can say yes to yourself. And that's perhaps the biggest win of all. Just some food for thought, folks. I hope this uh, challenges you to think about some things a little differently. People pleasing, maybe not as benign as you thought it was. And perhaps you could try on being kind today. Till next time, have a great day.